If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG, your commands today with the Man 23 video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to get coins right now on Man 23. In case you guys don't know, here in the channel, all I do is post no money spent methods. So if you guys are looking for coins, chain points, or XP, this is the place to be. Because like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you guys have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure to comment down below, and I will answer your comments as soon as possible. So today, like I said, I have a couple different methods for you guys today. I want to mainly focus on, at least with this video, and probably like once a week, Today's gonna be all about my people with like low coin stacks. Okay, if you are low on coins, today's all about you. All right, and then I think you know I'm gonna have one more decent uh, coin stack, you know, method later on in the video. If you have a lot of coins, that will help you out. But today's gonna be all about people that have you know are low on coins because I know some of you guys are out there like that. Not everyone has 12 million coins. A lot of you guys are probably under a million coins. So let's talk about that right now and let's get started with making coins today in Man 23. So this is where I would start off. I'm gonna show you guys two filters on the market because uh, I don't like sets for low for low methods. I don't like sets as much as I like just flipping cards in the market i think it's faster yes if you do a set you might make more coins for doing the set but um you know for low overalls you're actually getting quicker profit just by flipping cards so let's start off with this it's just the green iron guardians 2 filter right here we can sell these cards for 45 to 47,000 coins these four cards here are kind of like just outliers uh, i would say like 46,000 coins is where you can sell these cards for fairly consistently okay it might not be within two seconds, but it will be within 30 minutes the way EA displays their cards. They don't always show up right away, so just give it some time. These cards will sell, but you're looking to buy these cards for basically like 39k or less. That is a decent amount of profit. You're making a few thousand coins there off just doing that. So look for these cards, 39k or less. Put them up for 46k. You're going to lose 10% on tax, but still a few thousand coins for only clicking a few buttons and then just waiting for cards to sell. You can sell up to 20 cards at one time. My suggestion to you is to go by all offense, all defense. You could go by individual positions. So, like, let's say if you want to go all offense, you could look at tight ends, wide receivers, because that will display, you know, just the indiv individual position, which sometimes can make the card a little bit cheaper. It just shows up for cheaper. I uh, don't know why EA makes the game like that, but that's just the way it is. So, just a little tip there. Same thing with defense. You could look at left end. You could look at free safety. I think there's a middle linebacker as well and a right outside linebacker. And maybe that's for the 88s. Because uh, we are going to talk about that right now. Let's talk about the next filter. If you are low on coins, if that one is not working for you, this one honestly might even be better. So this is where I would go right now. That is just on this 88 to 89 filter. Same promo, Gridiron Guardians Volume 2, and then all offense, all defense. And you can see here, these cards are going for about 15K. You're looking for anything under like 14.5K. Anything under 14.5K is your uh, kind of like line of profit there. And you will sometimes see these cards get posted for like under 10K. So it can be a very easy way to come in here and just get some very easy coins off snipes. This is also a great way to get cheap training. There's so many of these cards on the market right now. Uh, there's a, a very big surplus of these cards, so that means price are going to be all over the place. These guys are probably going to drop down in price a little bit more maybe, uh, but with a lot of cards being on the market, you're going to see more cards that are getting up, uh, getting put up for too cheap. So if they're going for 15K, you're going to see some of these cards get put up for like 10K. Just very easy snipes. Once again, I would since these are low overalls, there's more of these guys in the market. I would go by actual individual positions here. Left guard, uh, wide receiver, left tackle. I think there's, is there one more? Yeah, there's a right guard as well. Uh, so yeah, those are the positions I would go for. It's the same thing for defense, okay? I would honestly go by all this, this positions here. Not, the, you know, the actual offense, all defense. Go by individual positions. Right outside linebacker, cornerback. Uh, and that there should be like one or two more middle linebacker. And if there's another one, check that one out as well. But if for this, I would go by individual positions. So that is that right now. Uh, that's kind of how I'd make coins right now. If you are low on coins, you could literally just grind this out, flip 20 cards in the market, go play a game, you know, maybe a head-to-head -head game, make a few thousand coins if you win the game, and then, you know, come back, flip another 20 cards. You could be making up to 100K an hour if you're just doing that consistently. So I would definitely check that out if I were you. That's the method I'd be rocking with if I were you as well. So, you know, just look to do that right now. So now let's talk about if you guys are in a decent situation financially in Madden. Let's see you have a lot of coins. You, you know, you want to make more coins. You want to keep adding to that coin stack. This is where I would be right now as well. So it's just very basic. We've talked about this before, but there are still great opportunities here for a lot of profit. And that is just in the AKA new class promo. Any one of these 497s, you can come in here and randomly check to see if any of these guys are profitable. Right now, it's probably going to be, yeah, it could be any one of these four, but your two most, your really your most common one here, you're going to see profit is with Toronto Armstead. It's not going to be every second of the day. And it might even be in rare moments, but there will be times where this card will be incredibly overpriced 
And his set right now costs about 800k to build. So, you know, just take that as it is. It costs 800k to build the set, basically. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But there are some times where this card can go for 900k. So, just keep that in mind. If you are looking to do this set and make some easy coins here, you could make potentially, you know, a few thousand coins, obviously. 10, 20, 30, 40k. Depends on how much this card is inflated in price. Uh, you guys could go ahead and build this set. If you want to save even more coins, instead of actually going in here and buying the individual 94s here for the actual set, you could go ahead and build the 94s, which can actually save you a lot of coins because the 89s, you can find them for significantly cheaper. So if you want to come in here, snipe these 89s for about 16, 17K. They're a little, you know, more than that right now. That's obviously, that's why it's called a snipe. 16, 17K or less, obviously. Build this entire set. It takes nine of them. And then you have to repeat that set five different times. Put those five cards into whichever one of these guys you see is profitable. Probably going to be Tron Arm set, obviously. Uh, put those put those five cards in there. Put those five 94s into there. Get this, you get this card here. Sell the 90, 97. And uh, you're going to get this 94 in return. You can do whatever you want with that. You want to quick sell it. You want to put them on your team. You want to do whatever. You just want to leave them in the binder. Uh, you want to custom out. You can do whatever you want. Okay, that card is for you. I'd quick sell it. I'd go reroll some training. Uh, so yeah, that is that. I also want to talk about another risk method. It's kind of a risky method. You can, you know, take this as it is. I would not do this, but there is some potential here for very cheap training. So I know some guys want cheap training to go risk some coins. You could definitely risk some coins doing this. So instead of actually buying training on the market or going and opening packs on the market or, you know, in the store or whatever, this could be a little more fun way here. And it's not a more fun way, a little bit of a safer way here to go about getting training points. So right now, you want to build this set here. Any one of these 97s, chances are Delaney Walker will be the most expensive, I think. Could also be Isaiah Simmons. Whichever one of these four guys are the most expensive, do that set. Once you guys complete the set, you, you can see how much they are here. Uh, just make sure you're not losing less than like 100K on the set, or you're not losing more than 100K. Honestly, your number should be about 75K. 75K uh, should be like your number to not lose here. So, because you are going to lose a little bit of coins doing the set and then selling the 97. But what you're going to get is you are going to get some 94s in return. Each 94 is going to be BND. It quick sells for, I believe, one-fourth of the value. And, you know, 12,000 training points times five is about a little over 60,000, 60, a little over that. So from doing this, you're going to get about five packs worth of training points for TVPs. Uh, and that is, that is going to be your profit. So if you make any profit on this, it will be what you get from the TVPs. So you just want to build this set, obviously for as cheap as possible, and then go roll TVPs, sell the 97. That's kind of how you want to do this method here. So that is really all I have for you guys today in terms of making coins. I want to drop some quick tips though right now into you know the game obviously. Delaney Walker. Most of you guys probably have Gronk right now, and you probably you know Gronk is probably your tight end one. Chances are that's kind of how things go for most people right now. Gronk is probably your main tight end on your team, and he absolutely should be, because uh, Gronk is the best tight end in the game without a doubt. Now Delaney Walker, I would I'm gonna get this card for my team, and if that's saying anything, you know this card is good. I'm going to get this card for my team. He should play receiver. I think this card is a top receiver in the game. Just put him in a secondary position at wide receiver. He's still a 97 overall. He can still get his chemistry, his legend chem, plus one speed, or his actual theme team chems, plus two speed. All those great attributes. The reason he shouldn't be your tight end is because he's only 6'2", uh, and he does get some fairly good abilities as well. So I would you know, get this Delaney Walker if I were you, and uh, put this guy at wide receiver one, two, or three, whatever. This guy probably deserves a spot on anyone's team. So he also, if, if you run the ball a lot, this is going to be a wide receiver with 96 run block. So this card could be very valuable on any team. I'm going to pick him up. Probably going to be my wide receiver two or three. Uh, just, you know, for many reasons. He's fairly tall, good run blocking, still a great card, stuff like that. So with all this being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, please do like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me. Peace out.